Thank you guys for coming back. In this video, I got some big announcements, so make sure to watch the whole video all the way through. I'm really happy and I'm more than excited to share this with you guys. So um, this could be the beginning of a new journey. So with that being said, let's begin. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing a cover up on my client and what my client currently has, he has a religious tattoo with a cathedral window as a halo. It has a lot of dark areas, a lot of line work, and it even has a, a negative space cross, which makes it a little bit challenging, a little bit complicated, but nothing to scare me away. My client is no longer happy with this tattoo. He doesn't like the execution. He doesn't like the way it looks, and he wants to do over on his sleeve, so I'm happy to do that for him. So. Let's get this day started. So this is what we got going on. It's not, okay, it's not, it's not ugly. It's not an ugly tattoo. How long have you had this tattoo for? Uh, it's been like a year and a couple months. A year and a couple months. Oh, so. so this is recent. Yeah. Was it done at a shop or? No, that was when the shops were closed. There were a lot of oh, artists were just tattooing from their homes. Well, some would. You snitching right now, bro? You going? <laughs> you I might be. <laughs> <laughs> you snitching, bro? No, you, so you got it done at a house. Yeah. Okay. Did you knew the artist? Yeah, my brother had been going to him for a while. Oh, okay. But he works at a shop, right? Yeah, he works oh, at a okay. shop. He just wasn't last year because of the whole COVID stuff. Oh, dang. Yeah, I mean, I, I tattooed at home too. <laughs> I can't even lie. <laughs> so this is more like a, like a, you know what, I kind of want a, a do-over on my sleeve. Do-over, do it right, mm -hmm. with patience, not just be all rushed in. Yeah, I, yeah okay, that's a, that's, a, yeah, that's a good point right there. So, so right now, I ended up printing out the stencil. Uh, a pretty good size It's going to go over the ditch here. Probably going to come over here. I didn't want to go small, to be honest, because uh, this is a cover-up and I need space to really put in those details. I don't like doing a whole, like, you know, marking it with a Sharpie and stuff like that. I just kind of eyeball it. Uh, for everybody who watches my videos, you guys know that I just put on the stencil. All right, so I'm going to base it off. The chin here is going to land right here. And then the nose has to land on the cheek of the statue. The reason why is because the nose is the lightest part of the, the tattoo, so I need that to stand out to make it look three-dimensional. So the jaw here of the statue is gonna help me to create that three-dimensional look on the nose. Okay, just go for it, boom.
pretty far there's a lot of texture so I'm really comfortable with texture so I'm able to move a little bit faster so uh, I was kind of thinking about what should I talk about in this video and I think this is a very important topic and it is how do you know you got the right tone when you're doing a cover-up and I think that sometimes or people who don't really specialize in cover-ups they and they're doing it for the first time or the first couple times, they think that if they keep packing the same tone, eventually it's gonna cover it up and that's not the case. What's gonna happen is that if you keep forcing it, you're just gonna scar the skin and it's gonna look so nasty when it heals. All right, so the way I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my medium tone. And right now I am using, I believe, 30% black and 70% white. So this is the way it looks when you have the right tone. And you can play, I mean, I, the reason why I only have three tones is because I like to dip it back and forth until I get the tone that I'm looking for. So right now, I'm just using gray, uh, my medium, my medium gray, just to kind of test out how it's gonna look on skin. So I'm gonna start there, kind of like uh, testing, testing my, my tone first, seeing the way it looks. I'm like, okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna keep going with that. Make sure to keep in mind like the contrast and all that. I'm gonna start here. Give it a little, a little bit of finesse. So since this is very light, I'm gonna take advantage of that little corner and dip it in my lightest gray. There you go. There you go. I'm back to my medium. And uh, start messing around with this area. By the way, I'm using a 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. There you go, see that? Ooh, now it's getting lighter. So I'm gonna keep going with my 
uh, dipping it into my lightest gray just to mess around with how bright I can get this to look. Back to my medium gray, start packing it and I start creating that shape of this lip or the outside of the lip. Nice. And this is where it's gonna get tricky right here. You see that? Cause there's a straight line going through the face, dark and it goes from dark to light and same thing on this side. So we have to make sure that we have the same tone and we gotta be precise with how dark it is. First thing is first, I do wanna add texture and I'm gonna dip it in my solid black. And I'm gonna make sure to get that line to disappear because it's so sharp that if I put any tone through that, it's gonna go right through it. So kind of mess around with the texture here, make that line disappear. Distract the eye. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go straight to my lightest gray and start going in in between the texture right there. So don't, don't go over the lines. I mean, don't go over the dark areas. Just go right in between them so you can keep those. If you start applying a specific tone and you can see the line right through it, stop and, and start mixing back and forth because that is not the tone, the, that is not the right tone. So that as soon as you start packing it in and you can still see the, the tattoo on the bottom, reconsider your setup because, you know, by forcing it, you're just gonna scar the skin, you're gonna damage the skin and nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna give you guys like a quick demonstration of how it shouldn't look. So I'm gonna go with my lightest gray, this line right here. So if you go in with your lightest gray, you start packing it in. And you see that? You can still see right through it. And that is because this is too light. This tone that I'm using is not the right tone for this area. Mix it up, go a little bit darker, and, uh, and make sure that you can see the line. Like if it, if, it's, if it takes you more than, if it takes you more than two layers to try to cover that up, you don't have the right tone. And uh, wasabi. And then um, one last thing, one question, one last question, what happened? Okay, anyways. Stop talking, fool. <laughs> Get to work, my guy. <laughs>